right, welcome in on a Monday, and apparently I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm stunned. I I didn't think the college football playoff stuff was really noteworthy, but apparently Doug said uh, people are freaking out over it. We can get to it a little later. That's not where I'm starting today, though. I just find it very hard to believe there's anywhere else to start but our NFL Sunday and our NFL football team. Um, Look, I think something's going on. Just being honest with you. I think something is going on between your quarterback and this franchise, and and this this thing is just broken. And yesterday, watching that game, and I actually went to the game, um, I kind of just looked at it, and from the third and goal draw play, which I don't know how a 10-year veteran quarterback even allows in the huddle. I don't even know how that play doesn't get checked out of. To, you know, the fumble, the INT, an offense that only goes one of five in the red zone, uh, a team that was handed 100 yards and penalties. Your offense, when you take the line of scrimmage, there's no motion. There's no moving people around. Seemingly, they're not really checking in and out of a whole lot. Stafford just takes the plate, it's called, and runs it. And I don't know about you, but that's not what I see around the league. Now, you want to blame Patricia? Fine. You want to blame Cooter? Fine. And, of course, if you want to blame Stafford, fine. But something weird is going on here. Because even after the game yesterday, uh, the There was a delay of 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, for Patricia and company to get to the podium. And in the game, look, Stafford just looks broke. He looks done. And it's weird to me considering this is the offensive coordinator he wanted. Now, ultimately, it falls at the feet of Patricia. And I've said to you from the beginning, I I think Patricia is a disaster. I I have no faith in this guy at all. You want to come in and yell at players and be Mr. Serious and run a brule camp and all. Okay, that's fine. It's probably not going to work. And right now you're seeing it not work. And we had Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, uh, uh, on Game Day Uncensored. He, he intimated Stafford being coached a different way, micromanaged, doesn't like it, may not like it. I think it's pretty clear he doesn't like it. And if we're to believe, and look, I think by all indications, he publicly vouched for JBC and privately uh, vouched for him, then his angst wouldn't be directed at Jim Bob Cooter. And this coaching would be coming from Matt Patricia. Plus, here's the other thing. Stafford looks dead as a doorknob in these games. The offense looks dead as a doorknob in these games. Again, one for five in a red zone, two for 12 on third downs. And you were given 100 yards and penalties. You still managed to score a whopping 16 points. Patricia at every turn kisses this guy's ass. Probably because he knows this guy ain't exactly in love. But I, I just kind of look at it, and I, I it really looks broken. I mean, this week, by the way, you're going to Arizona, you're a one-point favorite. That's where we've arrived at. But this is a league where offense reigns supreme, right? 16 points. I I don't know what to tell you. But I I think there's absolutely something going on. I think there's absolutely something going on with your quarterback and this franchise and this coaching staff. And if Jim Bob Cooter is going to be the one who's going to get the bullet and be out of a gig, I don't know that that's exactly going to fix anything considering JBC is a guy that Stafford likes. I have no faith that Matt Patricia has got his veterans. I mean, look, young guys or fringe players that are fighting for a job, they'll play hard. This is about keeping bread on the table. But as you start to turn this thing over, look, Stafford has to take the reins, and Stafford's got to be the guy. I don't see it. I mean, Sunday, they were in, yesterday, they were in that game. The Rams mailed that game in yesterday. The Rams had no interest in being here. And I think the way it looked, and you, I'm sure you could talk to people who, who cover the game who would agree with me on this, they thought they were just going to show up and beat this team. It's, it's damning about what the league thinks of you and how little respect you have 
But the Rams didn't come in with some kind of game plan. They thought they were going to turn around, hand it off, grind out a W, and get the hell out of here. And if if you don't think that's true, then you really don't know what you're watching. And Jared Goff played about a D-level game, probably the worst game of Goff's season. They still beat you by 14. And when you look at Matthew Stafford, guys, at what point do we begin to ask a few questions here? Like it, it, the fumble, what what was that? The interception, what was that? One for five in the red zone. Two for 12 on third down. This guy stinks. And I'll be honest with you, last four weeks of the year, the way he's getting knocked around the yard, I'd sit his ass down. I wouldn't even bother with this. Go 4-12, and 12, lose the last four games, make sure he doesn't get his head ripped off and miss any of training camp. And you better hire an offensive coordinator who's going to come in here and fix this. But the problem... The real problem still resides that whatever plays they're calling, there's not a game plan that goes in without Matt Patricia's fingerprints on it. So when you see this team go to the line and, you know, they're running the ball, they're trying to to hold the ball and short passes, who do you think is approving that? It's Patricia. I don't think Stafford wants to play this way. I don't think Stafford is going to thrive this way. There's something going on here. And if Patricia doesn't have his quarterback on board, he's doomed. He's absolutely doomed. And he can go to the podium and he can say how blessed we are to have Matthew and try to win him over. Or yesterday after, you know, they were talking about, I think it was the offensive line, and he talked about how tough his team is and, Of course, it ended up back on how tough Matthew Stafford is. Look, he can send all the platitudes he wants. But if his quarterback is not on board with this cat, it does not matter. And Stafford simply does not look like he's on board. Guy looks miserable. Guy's play is miserable. I don't see anything at the line of scrimmage that would lead me to believe they're doing anything other than what's called. Look at your offense. Look around the league. I mean, guys, we criticized earlier in the year Scott Linehan's offense down in Dallas for not using motion, not using, you know, new formations, and not being able to scheme your way at the line to some success. Stafford's at a point now I feel like they get the play call, he goes to the line, he runs the play. That's what I feel like. That's what it looks like to me. Then you pop in the tape of Phillip Rivers last night, and he is orchestrating. He is the architect of every single play. Players moving around, formation shifting, checks, calls, kills, audibles. What do you mean to tell me? Either stay, look, and there's precedent for it. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is going out there, and he's just running what's called this year. That's how he got McCarthy fired. Make no mistake, Aaron Rodgers got McCarthy fired. Oh, you want to call another short pass? Okay. Read the reports coming out about Aaron Rodgers. He acted like a brat. He acted like a diva this year. He wanted McCarthy out. He wanted to prove McCarthy was the problem. I'll run the plays you call. For a lot of years, Aaron Rodgers changed things to what he wanted at the line, and he would just do what was necessary to win. Great quarterbacks do that. Talk to anybody on those Michigan State teams from 2014, 2015. Connor Cook would change the play a hell of a lot because he didn't really want to do what Dave Warner wanted to do. Matthew Stafford doesn't look like any of that's going on right now. Stafford doesn't look like he's doing much of anything. And I'm really starting to wonder what we got going on here. Because that game yesterday, that's a game you win. That was primed. Rams mailed that puppy in. They did not show up. McVay looked like he didn't have a game plan. Goff played his worst game of the year. They handed you a couple of turnovers. They handed you 100 yards and penalties. You lost by 14 points. I'm telling you. Something is up. Something is up with your quarterback and his relationship with this staff. Because if this kid, if I shouldn't call him a kid, he's 31 years old. If he's engaged in this and he's care, if he cares and wants to win and he's really emotionally invested, it doesn't look like this. It really doesn't. It's just my belief there's something up. Now, if it, like Jim Bob Cooter's a guy he advocated for. What is he doing to try to sh- to save Jim Bob Cooter's job? Nothing. Not watching it, tell you that much. And Patricia, look, Florio said it. I'm just expanding on it. 
this micromanaging Patriot way. I don't think that's going to work with Matthew Stafford. He's always had it his way. Well, that's probably not going to continue. They're headed towards a divorce. That's what it looks like. And the problem is they can't get rid of him in the offseason. But I'd love to hear from the people on this. And I look watching it. It's just amazing to me how bad this team is. It's amazing to me how bad your quarterback is. If your quarterback was interested in playing yesterday and your quarterback actually, I don't know, was playing decent football, you beat the Rams yesterday, which wouldn't have been a good thing. It's a miracle that you lost. You needed to lose. You're picking fifth overall if the draft started today, which is great. But I think these issues are way bigger than just injury or, hey, we traded Golden Tate or, well, maybe it's an off year. No, there's something wrong with your quarterback. And and there's something wrong here with this staff. And ultimately, this is Patricia's show. And I really don't know how bought in your quarterback is. That's what it looks like to me. 248 539 We'll get some of the people in the mix just getting warmed up here on a Monday. We will get to college football. We will get to Kareem Hunt. I've got some thoughts on the Green Bay situation, but we got to start with this, and I want to see if people feel the way I feel about it. And I don't know what happened after that game. 30, 40-minute delay to get the players to the podium? What? It wasn't like Stafford was delivering some emotional speech. Maybe Patricia was just busy browbeating his team. I don't know. I don't really care. But this thing is broke, and I really don't know how you're going to fix it. Because your quarterback does not look interested. 97-1.